Hey guys, it's Steve here at Hankster's Hot Rods, and what we have for you today is this beautiful 1966 Pontiac GTO convertible. And what we're going to do, we'll do our walk around as we normally do, starting at the front. Uh, first thing you notice is the paint. Paint is really nice on this car. It is in the correct color of Cameo Ivory that it had came in when it was manufactured. Um, starting down here at the wheels here, we do have the stainless wheel well trim in all four corners with the Rally 1 steel wheels with the center caps and beauty rings. Uh, the tires are BF Goodrich Silvertown Redline tires. Really nice addition, really plays off the interior and the white paint, which we're going to go over as we come around the vehicle. Coming up to our first gap, driver's side, fender to door. Pretty even going down. See the body line lines up very nicely there and there. And we also have the chrome rocker molding down here at the bottom as well. Of course, that is on both sides. Our trim on the vehicle here, pretty nice shape. You do got some scratching uh, here and there, but overall, pretty good shape. Our driver's side windshield, no chips and cracks. Our driver's side glass, no chips and cracks. And of course, these are slightly tinted. Um, another thing to address before we move on to our second gap, of course, this is a convertible. Um, you got a white convertible top. Top is in pretty good shape. A little bit of staining here and there, but overall pretty good shape. And this is a power top, and yes, it does operate very nicely. Um, second gap, driver's side door to quarter panel. Very even going down. So your body line lines up nicely there, and our trim lines up nicely here as well. Uh, what I'm going to do now is going to open up the driver's side door here and go over the interior from this point of view. does have the red interior, which is correct. Our uh, red vinyl bucket seats. Got the full length console there, automatic on the floor. Carpet's in great shape. Dash pad is in really nice shape. You got the dash there is in great shape with the wood grain accents. Uh, it does got the aftermarket retro sound stereo there. Kick panel speakers, really nice interior. And this is a factory power window car as well, um, which it does still have the power windows and they operate very nicely. Uh, coming around to the back here, our back plastic window here, no rips and tears in that at all. Of course, you see our top is also nice going across there as also. Trunk gapping, pretty even on the sides and going around the back gap there as well. Uh, we got our GTO emblem on the quarter panels here, and that is on both sides. Coming around to the back, bumper chrome is in really nice shape. You got a little bit of pinning here and there, but overall very nice. Um, got a little bit of here down around the uh, back of this section as well, but it's slight. Uh, we have the dual exhaust down there at the bottom here, coming out with the tips. And of course, you got the French tail lights there, which also a nice pretty popular thing on the GTOs. Uh, what I'm going to do now is open up the trunk and we'll go over everything inside here. Underneath the trunk it is body color. Inside the jams here, really nice shape. Our weather stripping, good condition and intact. Down here in the trunk, um, we, it is painted in the black with the splatter paint. Um, we have also the uh, boot cover and the floor mats that go with the vehicle. I'll move these out of your way here so we can go over the floor. Floor in this car, very nice. You can see you got your mounts there, your spare, you got all your drains, you got all your indentations. See back in here. All very nice. The flooring in this car, in the trunk, and underneath is in great shape, which we will show you later on in the video. Moving along. Coming along to the passenger side, again the paint. Very nice paint on this car. Nice and smooth, shiny, it really has a nice high gloss to it. And there's the GTO emblems I was talking about. Moving along here, again on this side, top is very nice, no rips and tears. And our seams here, all very nice. Passenger side glass, no chips and cracks. Now for our first gap on the passenger side, quarter panel to door. Very even going down. You see our body line here, lines up nicely, and so does our trim. 
Now what I'm going to do is open up the uh, passenger side door so we can go over the interior from this point of view. You can see that the seats are very nice. Console is in great shape. Your dash is in great shape. Dash pad really nice. Move it along to our second gap passenger side. Door defender. Very even going down. You can see our body line lines up nicely there and here as well. Passenger side of the windshield, no chips and cracks. Cow to hood gap, pretty even going there. Going down, not bad. Coming around to the front. Front bumper chrome, not too bad. You have a little bit of scratching here and there, but overall, pretty nice. Um, our bezels and headlights, also both in good condition. And our grill and emblems, nice shape there. I don't see chips or missing pieces there out of the grill. That looks good. Uh, what I'm going to do now is open up the hood here, and we'll go over everything in the engine bay. Underneath the hood, you have the in a flat black, as is your firewall and your aprons and your rad support here. Uh, what we have here, if for engine wise, is a 400 cubic inch Pontiac V8. Uh, stock intake, stock cast intake. You have the three two barrels there, the three Rochester two barrels. Classic GTO, the three deuces, um, very popular there. Um, you got the chrome Mr. Gasket valve covers. We do have power steering, we have power brakes, and we have air conditioning. This is also as a factory AC car. Um, we do have air conditioning. Um, we have an aluminum radiator, which of course is far better than the original. This will uh, help with the cooling in the engine uh, quite a bit greater than the original would have. Um, all in all, very nice car, runs very well. What we're going to do now is put it up in the air and show you the undercarriage. Hey guys, we got our 66 GTO up in the air. Uh, we're going to go through the undercarriage here. Uh, components up front is where we're going to start, guys. Um, your control arms look to be of stock style. Uh, look very nice condition, nice beautiful black. Uh, you do have a front sway bar. Um, we got drum brakes at all four corners. So drum brakes front and back. Um, our front cross member, really nice there, no rust, no holes, anything on the very solid looking. Um, our oil pan on our 400 V8, our rear main seal, our turbo 400 transmission pan, and our output seal, nice and dry. I don't see any leaks at any of those. Uh, we do have dual exhaust on this vehicle coming off the stock style manifolds going to dual mufflers and we'll go over that as we get back farther. Um, our front frame sections, very nice and very nice. Um, our transmission cross member, very nice as well, nice and black. Uh, everything under here is painted in a nice black. Your frame is really beautiful. Um, Addressing the floor in the car, the floor is beautiful in this car. Front to back, the floor is very, very nice, very smooth. Um, just a beautiful floor in the underneath of this car. Um, your crossbars, all very nice, really beautiful, um, as is everything your cross members so on. Everything is a nice black, really clean. Uh, you got your e-brake cables here, going back to both wheels. Coming back here, like I said, our exhaust comes back in the dual stock style mufflers. Your center frame section is very nice as well. Moving along to the back of the car here, we do have the links. And those mounting points are very nice and those look great as well. Everything under here looks very nice. Our input seal at our rear differential and our rear differential cover, very nice. No leaks at either of those as well. Um, we got coil springs on the back, stock style mufflers, um, drum brakes. We do have, as I had already said, the BF Goodrich uh, Redline tires with the Steel Rally One wheels. Um, our rear frame sections. Look very nice. Our exhaust comes up, down, and out the back on either side of the rear frame there. 
Um, all in all, like I said, our floor, very nice back here as well. Our fuel tank painted in a silver. Mounting points look good there. Mounting points look good there as well. All in all, it's very nice under here. Um, what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to drop it down, fire the engine up so you can hear it run.